On the night of her engagement, Jiang Yunjiao encountered a close relative's scheme and quickly married her inconspicuous assistant Hua Qixiao overnight, becoming the laughing stock of the whole city. After marriage, Hua Qixiao, who was cold and reserved, was unexpectedly meticulous and considerate. Jiang Yunjiao decided to entrust her sincerity and live a good life with him. Later on, crowds of luxury cars silently parked downstairs, and her inconspicuous poor husband became an unattainable heir to the wealthy family. Jiang Yunjiao only then realized that her marriage was a complete scam. Divorce, Hua Qixiao The man who usually obeys her obediently tore off his soft disguise and spoke in a low and pleasant voice with a chilly tone, Jiao Jiao, if you ask for a change, my temper is not as good as you think. Chapter 1 This is my room. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. When Jiang Yunjiao struggled to get up from the bed, the sound of water in the bathroom just stopped. The bathroom door opened and a tall and upright man walked out from inside. She clenched the corner tightly, shyly, and hastily lowered her eyes. Even if a man was wearing a bathrobe, she was a bit hesitant to look at him. Wake up. As the man approached, a deep voice that was not unfamiliar rang above Jiang Yunjiao's head. She suddenly lifted her head, only then did she see who the person in front of her was. Hua Qixiao. Jiang Yunjiao widened her eyes in disbelief, how could you be in my room? Mr. Jiang has a clear view, this is my room. Hua Qixiao lowered his head and looked at her from a high position, his dark night like eyes so deep that it made people shudder. Jiang Yunjiao looked around and realized that she was in a strange room. Her face turned pale and she said, Mingzi. Why am I in your room? What have you done to me? Si Mingzi was her fiancé A.E. who grew up with her childhood sweetheart. They had just held an engagement banquet yesterday, and she drank two more glasses last night. She only remembered that before she got drunk, Si Mingzi said he wanted to take her back to her room to rest. But when she woke up, she was actually in Hua Qixiao's room. Faced with Jiang Yunjiao's questioning, Hua Qixiao remained indifferent like an outsider, I only had one glass of wine last night, it was you who handed it to me. Jiang Yunjiao's face suddenly turned a little whiter. Is there a problem with that glass of wine? Hua Qixiao is an assistant arranged by her grandfather. She has only been working at the Jiang group for a week, and the number of exchanges between the two is rare. When she saw Hua Qixiao at the engagement banquet, she was also somewhat surprised. He was quiet but had strong workability. Thinking that the two of them would continue to be together for a long time in the future, she took the wine handed over by Siming Ze to Hua Qixiao as a wedding banquet. After finishing the glass of wine, Hua Qixiao disappeared without a trace. She didn't think much at the time thinking that he didn't like crowded occasions and left early, but didn't expect despite the fact before her eyes, Jiang Yunjiao instinctively refused to admit, it's impossible, it's impossible to do such a thing. I think the most important thing Mr. Jiang should do now is to get up and get dressed. Hua Qixiao interrupted her and threw a bag of clothes over. Before she could react, he turned his back and walked to the side, taking off his bathrobe and starting to change clothes. Hua Qixiao. You. Jiang Yunjiao blushed and turned away in embarrassment and anger. Men have a very superior body proportion, with broad shoulders, narrow waist, thin and powerful physique, smooth muscle lines, and beautiful back with very eye dot catching scratches. Obviously, that is her masterpiece. Bang bang. There is a hurried knocking on the door from outside. Then a delicate female voice rang out. Yun Jiao, are you inside? Open the door quickly. Don't make grandpa wait for too long. It's cousin Jiang Ruoyun. She actually brought her grandfather. Last night, Si Mingzi first drugged her in wine and then took her to Hu Qixiao's room. Now, Jiang Ruoyun is knocking on the door with his grandfather early in the morning. No matter how foolish Jiang Yunjiao was, she understood. Siming Ze conspired with Jiang Ruoyan to frame her and wanted to catch her and Hua Qixiao in bed. 
Hua Qixiao was now dressed neatly, his shirt button tied to the top, and his tie tied in a very neat Windsor knot. He looked both abstinent and indifferent. When he looked at Jiang Yunjiao, she hurriedly shook her head at him and said, Don't open the door. The sound of knocking on the door rang out again. With each sound, like a talisman, it seemed as if the door would break in at any moment. Hua Qixia walked to the window and asked seriously, This is the 38th floor. Does Jiang always want to jump down on his own or let me jump down? Dot. Jiang Yinjiao was so shocked that she couldn't speak. Which normal person could say such absurd things in such a calm tone? What's even more absurd is that she really only has two options now, either open the door or jump off the building directly. Jumping off a building. Absolutely impossible. I'll go change clothes. Jiang Yinjiao picked up her clothes and entered the bathroom. After getting dressed, she covered the mottled marks on her neck with powder in front of the mirror, straightened her back and pushed the door out. Hua Qixiao, who was leaning against the door, turned around and looked at her at the sound. Jiang Yinjiao walked over and solemnly instructed him, Their target is me. After the door opens, you'll find a chance to leave. Don't stay in Shangbei City for a while, go out and take shelter from the wind. Hua Qixiao is just a powerless assistant who has been implicated as a traitor for no reason. The Jiang and Si families will definitely not let him go for the sake of face. Hua Qixiao's eyes flashed with surprise. This Mr. Jiang from his family, who is now struggling to protect himself, actually thinks of a way out for him. I opened the door, he reminded loudly. Hmm. I don't know if it's her illusion. Just now, she seemed to see him smile. Hua Qixiao let go and retreated. The door was knocked open from outside with a loud bang. A group of people from Yanjiang rushed in. The hotel staff, the guests who stayed overnight last night, all ages and genders of the Jiang family. Jiang Ruoyan rushed to the front, covered his lips in surprise, and said with a sorrowful expression, Yun Jiao, you can just act recklessly in your daily life. Surprisingly, on the night of your engagement. How can you justify your grandfather and Ming Ze like this? The suddenly raised volume seemed to be afraid that others wouldn't hear it. Jiang Ruoyan is used to playing this trick. Jiang Yinjiao didn't even look at her directly and walked straight to Jiang Ningkang. Grandpa. Pop. Jiang Ningkang didn't listen to her explanation and slapped her hard in the face. Yun Jiao. You have disappointed me so much. I understand that your parents left early. I turned a blind eye to all the messy things you did outside, allowing you to be reckless and humiliating my Jiang family. Jiang Yunjiao was hit too far and half of her face lost consciousness. There is a buzzing sound in my ears. Grandpa didn't believe her. As Jiang Yunjiao regained some consciousness on her face, she sneered, Grandpa, if you talk about losing face, how can I compare to second uncle? After so many years, photos of him being caught and beaten by his former second aunt, crawling all over the bed, are still everywhere. The scene suddenly fell silent. In the past, the Jiang family did not have the same level of influence as they do now. The entire Jiang family was ridiculed recklessly for this matter, and Jiang Ningkang was extremely angry. He did not step out of the house for half a year. It was not until the successful development of the project by Jiang Yunjiao's parents that the Jiang family finally gained a place in Shangbei City, and those who mocked the Jiang family began to curry favor with them. You. Jiang Ningkang trembled with anger. Jiang Ruoyan's expression was also very bad. He walked up and lowered his voice, Grandpa, I'll leave the rest to you. You can go back first. Jiang Ningkang's face barely improved, Ruoyan, thank you for your hard work. Those who read jokes also wisely followed Mr. Jiang and left. Jiang Ruoyan no longer held back and looked at Jiang Yunjiao with a sinister expression, do you think mentioning my father's matter can save the situation? Grandpa only has my father's son now, but he has two granddaughters. You just wait to get out of the Jiang family. 
As for Mingzi, I will take good care of him for you. Jiang Yinjiao sneered, indeed, like a mother, like a daughter. You love picking up trash just like your mother. Chapter 2 Women's Face is Important You are listening at NovelFull.audio After the death of Jiang Yinjiao's parents, his second uncle Jiang Xingyi forced Jiang Ruoyan's mother to marry into the family. However, for the sake of face, Mr. Jiang secretly claimed that Jiang Yinjiao, who is two years younger than Jiang Ruoyan, is the miss of the Jiang family. And what Jiang Ruoyan cares most about is the reputation of the Miss Jiang family. Over the years, she has been trying every way to ruin Jiang Yunjiao's reputation with her third-in-command mother. Jiang Yunjiao. You slut. Jiang Ruoyan was stepped on in pain and raised his hand in anger, ready to hit her. Jiang Yunjiao was about to turn her head to avoid when someone behind her reached out to block Jiang Ruoyan and pushed her to a standstill. Looking down at the man's sturdy and slender arm, Jiang Yunjiao was slightly taken aback and said, Wa Qi Xiao. He has been standing idly by since just now, and she didn't expect him to help her. After Jiang Ruoyan stabilized his figure, he lifted his eyes and touched the man's gloomy gaze. He couldn't help but shudder, and the swearing words were forced back by the heavy pressure on the man's body. How long can you two adulterers and prostitutes still be proud of yourself? Feared by Hua Qixiao's aura, Jiang Ruoyan said harshly to Jiang Yunjiao and left in a disheartened manner. The farce has ended. Jiang Yunjiao looked at Hua Qixiao and whispered, Thank you. Seeing that the man didn't react much, Jiang Yunjiao continued, Didn't you find a chance to leave? Why didn't you leave? Hua Qixiao's gaze stopped for two seconds on her swollen half of her face, and he spoke calmly, Mr. Jiang is a bit unreasonable. I'm doing it for your own good. If you don't appreciate it, you can do whatever you want. Jiang Yunjiao was also a bit angry, feeling that the man was a bit ungrateful. Just now, Hua Qixiao stood up for her, and Jiang Ruoyan must have already held a grudge against him. Afterwards, he will definitely think of a way to let his grandfather help vent his anger. Hua Qixiao still had his indifferent expression. You're trying to be a hero yourself and make me a shrinking turtle. It turns out you're doing it for my good. How about that? Can you beat them? Jiang Yunjiao understood, he just cared about the man's face after all. Hua Qixiao remained silent, just staring at her in silence. Jiang Yunjiao thinks that men are really boring. Si Mingzi is like this. Hua Qixiao is also like this. She sneered and curled her lips, then turned around and walked out. When she got into the elevator, she turned around and took a strange look. Hua Qixiao didn't keep up. The elevator door closes. She turned her back and saw her lonely reflection in the elevator wall, tears streaming down her face. After my parents passed away, every step was difficult. It's difficult to deal with the group of jackals from the Jiang family who want to drive her out of the house. Heavy academic workload is also difficult. But she has survived it all. This time it's the same. Ding, the elevator door opens. Jiang Yunjiao raised her face, wiped away her tears, and as she turned around, her calm and composed expression suddenly showed cracks. A woman's face is very important, you should apply some medicine. Hua Qixiao stood at the elevator door, holding medicine. Jiang Yunjiao instinctively reached out and touched her face. When she touched the wound on her face, she let out a soft hiss of pain. When Jiang Ningkong slapped her, her nails scratched her face. His expression remained as cold as ever, and his overly imposing eyebrows and eyes gave people a strong sense of intimidation, making them involuntarily want to obey him. When Jiang Yunjiao realized it, she had already walked out of the elevator and obediently followed him into the car. I scraped the skin, disinfect it first. Hua Qixiao took out a disinfectant swab and leaned over to hold her face. The distance between the two is so close that their breath can be heard. Jiang Yunjiao has been busy with her studies for many years, spending most of her time in the research room. 
The only opposite sex she has the closest relationship with is Si Mingxian, and their closest thing is just to meet and have a meal. She is not used to getting so close to the opposite sex. Although this man is the only one who has ever had a skin-to-skin -skin relationship with her. Jiang Yunjiao resisted and hid back. Her slender fingers gripped her chin at once. Don't move around. Hua Qixiao furrowed his eyebrows slightly, and after seeing the panic in her eyes, his tone softened imperceptibly, it will hurt. Jiang Yunjiao pursed her lips and remained still, but her fair face gradually turned red. After disinfecting, Hua Qixiao applied a bandage to her and put an ice pack on her hand. Ice will make it better, he said Jiang Yunjiao turned her face away and whispered her gratitude. Thank you. She didn't expect Hua Qixiao to buy her medicine, feeling ashamed of her prejudice against him. Hua Qixiao put away the medicine and started the car. What do Mr. Jiang plan to do next? Although they had a very intimate incident last night, it was designed by Si Mingzi and Jiang Ruoyan, which does not mean that her relationship with Hua Qixiao is close enough to be able to handle these matters. Jiang Yunjiao said vaguely, let's wait until the inauguration ceremony is over. As soon as she returned to China, her family urged her to hold a wedding banquet, and the inauguration ceremony was postponed until next Monday. Hua Qixiao suddenly laughed. Jiang Yunjiao heard a hint of mockery in his laughter, what are you laughing at? Laugh at your innocence, Hua Qixiao glanced at her. Even now, do you still think your grandfather can make you the technical director? Jiang Mingkong slapped her with all his might. He is really cruel to his own granddaughter. Jiang Yunjiao clenched her fingers and forced herself, saying, Grandpa once said that the position of technical director is reserved for me. Which grandfather, who truly loves his granddaughter, would come up and hit someone after her granddaughter encounters such a thing, regardless of the reason or reason? Jiang Yunjiao moved her lips, but found herself unable to argue at all. From beginning to end, no one in the entire Jiang family stood on her side. It's here. Upon hearing this, Jiang Yunjiao turned her head and found that she had indeed arrived at the downstairs of her apartment. She opened the car door and was about to get off. Hua Qixiao looked at her silently. Just to tell the truth and break her fantasy of family affection, she didn't even say thank you. Originally, Mr. Jiang, who looked gentle and weak in his family, also had some temper. Just then, Jiang Yunjiao's phone suddenly rang. It was Jiang Mingkong who called. Get out of here right away. Jiang Mingkong roared out the order and immediately hung up the phone. Jiang Yunjiao maintained the position of answering the phone, and from Hua Qixiao's perspective, she could see her knuckles turning white due to force and her tight jaw. I'll take you there. Jiang Yunjiao wanted to refuse, but her dry throat couldn't make any sound. Hua Qixiao leaned over and closed the car door. Did you fasten the seatbelt yourself or should I help you? He appeared to come over at any time to help her fasten her seatbelt, which frightened Jiang Yunjiao and she immediately fastened her seatbelt. On the way, Hua Qixiao also got off the car and bought breakfast for Jiang Yunjiao. A few hundred meters away from the Jiang family villa, Jiang Yunjiao suddenly said, Stop the car. Not yet. Hua Qixiao stopped the car, but the door was still locked. Chapter 3 Marriage You are listening at NovelFull.audio Jiang Yunjiao couldn't open the car door and patiently explain to him, My grandfather is still angry, but after all, we are family and he won't make things too difficult for me. But you're different. If you show up in front of him again, he will definitely not let you go. Hua Qixiao smiled inexplicably and said, Family. Jiang Yunjiao heard the mockery in his tone and grabbed the door handle to urge him to open the door again. However, he stepped on the gas pedal and drove to the front of the Jiang family villa in an instant. Why doesn't this man listen to advice? You. Jiang Yunjiao was frightened and silenced by the man who suddenly bullied her. Things are done by two people, there is no reason for you to bear them alone. 
Hua Qixiao propped himself up on the back of the chair behind her with one hand, maintaining a dignified distance from her that was not offensive, but his deep and bottomless eyes exuded a strong sense of aggression and oppression. Jiang Yinjiao was forced to shrink back into her seat, wide-eyed and vigilantly looking at him, holding her breath and forcing herself to look at him. Click. The faint sound of the buckle unfastening amplified in the silent carriage. Along with them, there was a man's mocking voice laughing, What are you afraid of? I just helped you unbuckle your seatbelt. Hua Qixia withdrew and left, and the sense of oppression also faded away. Jiang Yinjiao just released her energy and relaxed, breathing hard. As she watched the man outside the car window come around to open the car door for her, she didn't think much and quickly opened the car door and got down. I'm going first. She quickly glanced at Hua Qixiao and turned around before quickly entering the Jiang family villa. Hua Qixiao followed slowly and thoughtfully, staring at her back for a moment before suddenly realizing it. Afraid of him. As soon as Jiang Yinjiao entered the door, a teacup flew towards her. She didn't have time to dodge and watched as the teacup smashed towards her. At that moment, a big hand covered her shoulder and pushed her back forcefully. Bang! The teacup smashed at her feet. She fell into the warm and sturdy embrace of the man. It's Hua Qixiao. You. The man interrupted her and helped her stand upright, his voice low, I don't want to repeat what I said in the car just now. Things are done by two people, there is no reason for you to bear them alone. Previously, the car was only focused on fear and didn't pay attention to what he said. Looking back now, she realized the meaning behind his words, and Jiang Yunjiao's face suddenly turned red. Jiang Ningkang, who was already in a fit of anger, became even more furious when he saw this. Jiang Yunjiao, haven't my Jiang family taught you what integrity is? His granddaughter is really amazing. She slept with other men on engagement night and now she brings them home to hug and hug. Jiang Yunjiao suddenly woke up and distanced herself from Hu Qixiao. Her gaze swept over the fragments on the ground, and she looked up pale. Grandpa, you should ask Uncle Air about this, she said Jiang Xingyi was repeatedly mocked by her, feeling a lack of light on his face. He spoke out and scolded, Yun Jiao, did you talk to elders like this? You. Jiang Ningkang glanced at Jiang Xingyi with a cold face, and he dared not say more. Yun Jiao, even if you do something ugly yourself, you dare to take action against your sister. If I don't care about you anymore, won't you make the entire Jiang family restless? Upon hearing this, Jiang Yinjiao turned to look at Jiang Ruoyan and found that her head was wrapped in gauze. Jiang Ruoyan also noticed her gaze and looked up at her, with a smile of success in his eyes. She never touched a finger of Jiang Ruoyan, it was all directed and acted by him. She found it somewhat ridiculous. Even Hua Qixiao could see that her grandfather didn't treat her as a family member, only she was still deceiving herself and holding unrealistic fantasies. What does grandpa plan to do with me? Her voice was so soft that she couldn't hear any emotions. Jiang Ningkang thought she was finally willing to give in, and her expression softened slightly. As long as you seek the forgiveness of the Si family and then resign from the group, after the limelight passes, I will find a suitable family for you to marry as the Miss Jiang of the Jiang family. Speaking so grandly, it's just to arrange for her to be used as a marriage tool. Jiang Yinjiao didn't expect Jiang Ningkang to be so shameless. She gritted her lips hard to stay calm and said, I will make my own marriage decisions. Jiang Ningkang sneered, I can't help it. Jiang Yinjiao was horrified in her heart, clearly trying to force her to comply. With a horizontal heart, she turned around and took Hu Qixiao's hand. Then give it a try. Jiang Ningkang's face slightly changed and he had a bad premonition in his heart. What are you doing? Getting married. How dare you? Jiang Ningkang stood up with a swipe and pointed at Hu Qixiao with disgust, such a useless and powerless thing is also worthy of being my Jiang Ningkang's grandson son. In law. Whether it's worth it or not, it doesn't matter what you say. At this point, 
Jiang Yinjiao had completely seen Jiang Mingkang's true face and left without looking back, holding on to Hu Qixiao's head. Jiang Mingkang's angry roar came from behind. Jiang Yinjiao, please stop me. Jiang Yinjiao kept walking faster and faster. Hua Qixiao silently followed behind her and walked out of the Jiang family door, then stepped forward to help her open the car door. After driving for a distance, Hua Qixiao found that the carriage was even quieter than when he arrived. He frowned and turned his head to take a look, slightly stunned. The woman beside her gritted her lips tightly, her shoulders trembling, as if trying to hold back something, but her tears still flowed out of her eyes like a broken thread. Hua Qixiao remained silent for a moment, then threw the tissue box to her. If you want to cry, cry, and it's not against the law. The carriage remained silent for two seconds, followed by the sound of a woman sobbing. Jiang Yinjiao cried for a long time. When I regained my senses, I realized that the car had already come to a stop. Glancing out the window, I realized it was the Civil Affairs Bureau. Hua Qixiao actually brought her to the Civil Affairs Bureau. Jiang Yinjiao, are you still married? She turned her head and saw Hua Qixiao with one hand resting on the car window, lazily staring at her. The man sat lazily in the driver's cab, with his superior facial lines outlining his extremely handsome face. With a smile on his face, he looked even more charming and captivating, making Jiang Yinjiao, who had no illusions about men in the laboratory all year round, unable to move her eyes. Are you single? Hmm. The words that Jiang Mingkang had said flashed through her mind again, and Jiang Yinjiao made up her mind and said, it's over. Anyway, she has no way out. It's better to marry Hua Qixiao now than to be arranged by the Jiang family to marry a clumsy guy. Moreover, Hua Qixiao's appearance and temperament are outstanding in the celebrity circle, and she is not at all inferior. She got off the car first and walked towards the entrance of the Civil Affairs Bureau. Hua Qixiao gave her a deep glance and dug out their identification documents from the drawer, following closely behind. After returning to China, Jiang Yunjiao had a lot of documents and procedures to handle, so she handed over her personal information to her assistant and asked him to help her with these matters. Coming out of the Civil Affairs Bureau, it happened to be lunchtime. Holding the newly issued marriage certificate, Jiang Yunjiao felt an inexplicable sense of tranquility in her heart. She turned her head to look at the man beside her, who happened to turn his head to look at her. Her eyes met, and her stomach made an untimely growl. Chapter 4 Living Together You are listening at NovelFull.audio Previously, Hua Qixiao helped her by breakfast, but she had no appetite to eat. Jiang Yunjiao lowered her eyes uncomfortably, not noticing the smile on the man's face. He started the car and asked her, what would you like to eat for lunch? Whatever, she said in a low voice, stuffing her marriage certificate into her bag. Considering that Jiang Yunjiao was hungry, Hua Qixiao found a nearby restaurant. After the car stopped, he came over to help her open the car door, but she paused before getting off. Hua Qixiao asked, don't you want to eat here? No. Jiang Yunjiao shook her head eagerly, afraid that Hua Qixiao might think she didn't like this kind of small restaurant. She just felt that obtaining a certificate was a big deal, and the two of them should go and have a better meal, but on second thought, Hua Qixiao was just a young assistant who had not yet been confirmed, so she shouldn't be financially well dot off. She did save up a lot of scholarships when she was in school, but he didn't look like the kind of man willing to spend women's money. However, what is the difference between such an urgent denial and recognition? Hua Qixiao was about to speak when his phone rang. You answer the phone, I'll wait for you inside. Watching Jiang Yunjiao enter the restaurant, he lowered his head to look at his phone. Incoming call display, He Yushan. Hua Qixiao answered the phone without much expression. I heard that Jiang Yunjiao was caught and raped in bed. Can she still hold on to her position in the Jiang family? Hello, it's not easy for you to sneak into the Jiang family. If she can't keep her position, won't you be in vain again? He Yushan talked for a while, 
but there was no movement on the other side. He was a bit scared and said, Qi Xiao, why aren't you talking? Where did you hear about it? He had already silenced the media, and this should not have been widely known. Although some people in the media have sealed their mouths, this matter has already spread in the circle and everyone knows it. After a deep pause, He Yu asked with a hint of gossip, Do you know who the adulterer who turned green with Si Mingxian is? I know. Who? Me. Dot. What Qi Xiao didn't explain, only said, Help me get a surveillance footage of the hotel last night. Ah. What do you want to monitor? Do you want to prove Jiang Yunxiao's innocence? He Yu paused deeply and asked softly, Is it? Sleeping out of love. My wife needs it. Hu Qi Xiao's tone was light and ethereal, with an inexplicable hint of showing off. After a moment of silence, He Yu mercilessly mocked him and said, What wife? Where did you get a wife from a single dog that has been around for thousands of years? Stop boasting. I'm going to have dinner with my wife. Hello. Speak clearly. The only response to him was the busy tone of the phone being hung up. Jiang Yunjiao and Hua Qixiao are not very familiar, and what happened last night did not immediately bring them closer, so after a meal, neither of them had much communication. Until after finishing her meal, Jiang Yunjiao hesitated and asked him, Are you renting a house now? Hua Qixiao raised his eyes, with a hint of confusion in his expression. She had an expression of something to say from before, and he thought it was such a difficult question to ask. His silence undoubtedly supported Jiang Yunjiao's speculation, I don't mean anything else, I am. You don't have to be so careful, not every man is insecure and sensitive. He had already noticed that when choosing a restaurant to eat, his newlywed wife was considerate and not picky about hurting his self-esteem. The people of the Jiang family took advantage of her softness and kindness to calculate her so thoroughly. Hua Qixiao curled his lips, his smile not too obvious, but his voice was much softer than before. My house is about to expire, and I will move in with you tomorrow, he said Jiang Yunjiao was stunned for a moment and nodded, hmm. We always have to live together when we get married. Hua Qixiao escorted Jiang Yunjiao downstairs to the apartment, but did not follow her up. Not long after she arrived home, the doorbell rang. Opening the door, she looked at the man who had gone back and forth, holding onto the doorframe tightly. What's wrong? Hua Qixiao handed her a bag with the pharmacy logo printed on it and said, You probably don't have any plans to have a child right now. You may feel a bit uncomfortable after eating. Last night was an accident, but you won't be able to do it in the future. Jiang Yunjiao took it over and opened it, only to find that it was contraceptive pills. She blushed and moved her eyes uneasily, is there anything else? What does it mean that I won't be able to do it in the future the man looked cold and serious, saying everything. Take a good rest, call me if you have something to do, and have dinner together tonight. The last half of the sentence carries a hint of inquiry. Jiang Yunjiao raised her eyes and met his approving gaze, okay. When Hua Qixiao returned to the car, He Yushin's phone call came in. The surveillance footage from last night has been deleted, but I found something more interesting. Wait for me at Shangbai Hui. Hua Qixiao hung up the phone and drove to Shangbai Hui. Shangbai Hui is the largest sales cave in the city. At night, one is intoxicated with paper and gold, and the sound and color of a dog and horse, while the day is peaceful and tranquil. Hua Qixiao drove his car into the underground parking lot and took a private elevator directly to the top floor. He Yushin had been waiting in the office for a long time. He lazily leaned on the sofa, left and right cigarettes, and a glass of whiskey in his right hand. His narrow eyes had a wry smile and he said, here we go. Where's the thing? Hua Qixiao sat opposite him. He you put down his wine glass deeply, stuffed the tablet beside him into his arms, and lifted his chin. Tell me about you and Jiang Yunjiao, he said Hua Qixiao looked cold as he took out his marriage certificate from the built that iron pocket of his suit and threw it to him. When He Yushin caught the certificate, 
Hua Qixiao brought the tablet in his hand. The surveillance footage shows Si Mingzi and Jiang Ruoyan embracing each other and entering the hotel room, which happened to be the day before the wedding banquet was scheduled. He took out his phone and transmitted the surveillance video to his own phone. He Yu, who was opposite, finished reading his marriage certificate and said a thousand words in one word, grass. Are you really married? He approached Hua Qixiao in disbelief. Hua Qixiao frowned, his tone full of disgust, smoke. He Yushin extinguished his cigarette and said, Jiang Yunjiao was already quite miserable. You used her to this extent to investigate that matter. Don't you think you're a bit unethical? Hua Qixiao glanced coldly at him and said, Who said I was using her? After a deep thought, he you boldly guessed, Is it difficult for you to like her? Leave me the best spot in your revolving restaurant at night, Hua Qixiao ignored his question and stood up to walk to the other side. The top floor space is quite large, with half used for an office and the other half for a suite. He has been living here recently. Tomorrow I'm moving in with Jiang Yunjiao and he's going to pack his luggage. He you understood something deeply and sat up straight as if watching the excitement. Do you want me to have someone help you decorate it? Hua Qixiao didn't even turn his head and said coldly, I'll arrange it myself. But this cannot stop He Yushin's enthusiasm. Do you know how to be more romantic? Women all like romance. Jiang Yunjiao, a top academic beauty, is very popular in the circle. Some people are waiting to rise to power, and it's not easy for you to find a wife, but you need to take good care of it. Oh. Hey, gentlemen don't take action if you speak. Chapter 5 What I Like You are listening at NovelFull.audio Jiang Yunjiao slept until evening. She remembered that Hua Qixiao had said before that we would have dinner together tonight, so she quickly picked up her phone to check the message. There are missed calls and unread messages displayed on the screen. Missed calls all came from the same person, and Jiang Yunjiao's face darkened as she clicked on the unread text message. The latest text message was sent by Hua Qixiao ten minutes ago. Call me back when you wake up. Did you not call her directly? Are you afraid of disturbing her rest? Jiang Yunjiao didn't read the other person's text message and directly called back to Hua Qixiao. The phone rang twice and was answered. Awaken from sleep. The man's deep voice was clear and pleasant against the empty background. Jiang Yunjiao unconsciously rubbed her ear and said, Hmm. The woman's voice, which had just woken up, was a bit dull and soft, like a kitten. Hua Qixiao tightened his water glass and lowered his voice a bit, I'll come pick you up in an hour. Okay. One hour later, the doorbell rang on time. Jiang Yunjiao tidied up her hair and opened the door. Hua Qixiao lifted his eyes and was slightly stunned. He has seen many beauties, even Song Wanshu, who is widely recognized as the most flamboyant and glamorous in the northern celebrity circle, and can be considered a true beauty. At this moment, he felt that the reason why he felt that Song Wanshu lived up to his name was because he had never carefully looked at Jiang Yunjiao. She put on light makeup and wore a light blue waist tied dress, with a sharp cut that outlined a soft and beautiful body line, complemented by fair skin, making her look more refined and refined. The man outside the door seemed to be hesitant to speak, and Jiang Yunjiao couldn't help but speak first, Hua Qixiao. Hua Qixiao came to his senses, and the woman looked at him with a pair of clear apricot eyes, pure and charming. He lowered his eyes slightly, his Adam's apple rolled twice, let's go. When the car stopped at the entrance of the revolving restaurant, Jiang Yunjiao turned her head uncertain and asked the man next to her, What are we doing here? Eating. Ah. Hua Qixiao's serious tone didn't seem like a joke. Jiang Yunjiao has never had a meal at this restaurant before, but she has seen someone online post about the restaurant's exorbitant consumption list, and it is said that seats are particularly difficult to book. Hua Qixiao had already gotten off the car and turned around to open the passenger door. As she was about to bend over and help her unbuckle her seatbelt, she quickly regained consciousness and pressed the buckle of her seatbelt. 
Hua Qixia watched her reaction from the bottom of his eyes, silently curled his lips, stood up straight, handed his hand over, and wanted to help her get off the car. Jiang Yinjiao politely declined, I can do it myself. Although both of them had done what they should have done, it was in a situation where neither side was clear-headed. Even after obtaining the certificate, she instinctively resisted getting close to him. Hua Qixiao didn't force himself. With a calm expression, he withdrew his hand and turned to hand over the car key to the parking attendant. After Jiang Yunjiao got off the car, he walked with her towards the restaurant entrance. In the car not far away, He Yushin, who had been waiting for a long time, quickly got off the car and followed up. Hua Qixiao turned around when he noticed something, and He Yushin didn't hide even when he was caught, smiling at him. Hua Qixiao narrowed his eyes with a cold and solemn expression. The warning was self-evident, and the smile on He Yushin's face deepened, but he wisely stopped walking. Jiang Yunjiao knows that this restaurant can overlook the entire Shangbei city. But as she was led by the waiter towards her reserved seat, the scenery she saw through the glass wall along the way still made her involuntarily exclaim. Wow! Her voice was very low, but the person next to her still heard it. Noticing that Hua Qixiao was looking at her, she turned around and raised her face to look at him. She pursed her lips with some embarrassment and said dryly, it's so high here. Hmm. Hua Qixiao responded in a low voice, unable to hear any other emotions. Jiang Yunjiao couldn't grasp his thoughts and looked ahead to continue walking. The waiter disappeared without a trace at some point, with candles and red roses on the nearby dining table. Is someone proposing? Until she was led to the table by Hua Qixiao. He gentlemanly pulled open the chair and looked up at her, sit down. Are flowers and candles actually prepared by Hua Qixiao? When Jiang Yunjiao sat down, she didn't even realize it. She turned her head to look out the window and realized that their position had the best view of the entire restaurant. She couldn't help but turn her head to look at Hua Qixiao. On his first day at the Jiang family, he became the focus of attention for all female employees in the company because of his outstanding appearance and temperament. A tall and straight figure is especially suitable for suits, and if you tie your tie meticulously, looking at your body shape without looking at your face is enough to make many women fall in love. If you look at that deep and handsome face again, it will appear cold and abstinent, making it difficult for gods and ghosts to invade. Even if Jiang Yunjiao lacks life experience, she knows that such a unique and outstanding temperament is not cultivated by ordinary families. The seeds of doubt gradually surfaced in Jiang Yunjiao's heart, how did you book a seat here? Hua Qixiao, who was taking things from his pocket, paused upon hearing this. The woman's suspicion was clearly visible on her face, and his expression remained unchanged. His tone remained calm, I asked a friend for help. What friend can help you so much? Jiang Yunjiao fixed her gaze on him, not missing any expression on his face. Of course, it's a friend who has passed away. A lazy voice with a smile came from behind. Jiang Yunjiao turned around and met the smiling gaze of the stranger. The man has a tall and straight figure, and wearing a soft silk shirt on him is not feminine at all. On the contrary, due to his excessively handsome face, it shows a bit of evil that people dare not easily provoke. Your husband saved my life. The man placed the red wine in his hand on the dining table and gave Hua Qixiao a meaningful glance. As a gift, happy newlywed. Hua Qixiao took the initiative to introduce to Jiang Yunjiao, my friend, He Yushin. Jiang Yunjiao has heard of this name. The famous young master of the He family in Shangbei City and a well-known playboy in the industry. It's someone she can't afford to provoke. Jiang Yunjiao was secretly shocked with a calm and appropriate expression on her face. Thank you. As a family member, what's the point of being polite? He you remained calm and gave Hua Qixiao a leisurely look in his tone. Let's go. From beginning to end, Hua Qixiao didn't pay much attention to him. He Yushin went out far and looked back. Alas, he wanted to see the old iron tree of Qi Xiao and talk to his wife. 
Hui Qixiao looked silently at the exit behind Jiang Yunjiao until He Yushan's figure disappeared before taking out the things that had been prepared in his pocket early in the morning. The exquisite small box opened in the direction of Jiang Yunjiao, and she saw the platinum ring inside. We got married in a hurry and didn't have time to pick out the ring together. I took it upon myself and bought the right ring. If you don't like it, we can buy something else. The man's sincere tone made Jiang Yunjiao feel ashamed and moved. Her marriage to him had elements of exploitation, and she even maliciously speculated about him, but he carefully prepared a candle at dinner and a ring. I like. Hua Qi Xiao, I like it. Jiang Yunjiao said twice in a row, her eyes turning slightly red. Chapter 6 My Wife Doesn't Mind My Poverty You are listening at NovelFull.audio I'll help you put it on, Hua Qi Xiao said as he scanned the woman's blushing eyes the small and beautiful hand reached over without hesitation. Hua Qi Xiao held her hand and put the plain ring into her fair and slender ring finger, which was unexpectedly suitable in size. Jiang Yunjiao widened her eyes slightly, and Hua Qixiao didn't seem to notice her confusion. He reached out his hand and gestured for her to help him put it on as well. After helping Hua Qixiao put on the ring, she couldn't help but ask him, how do you know my finger circumference? Although it was a very simple question, Hua Qixiao seemed to ponder for a moment before answering, I have seen your engagement ring. Jiang Yunjiao has been busy since returning to China, and the engagement rings were all sent to the company by Siming Zhe. Although it was a bit strange that Hua Qixiao could remember the size at a glance, his indifferent expression inexplicably made Jiang Yunjiao feel very reasonable. She nodded, oh, and did not doubt the authenticity of his words. Order the dishes. Hua Qixiao handed her the menu. She took it over and opened the first page, pursing her lips tightly. It's too expensive. The novice girl couldn't hide her thoughts at all. Hua Qixiao only knew what she was thinking by looking at her expression. She had already taken off her guard against him, believed his words, and was worried that he would not be able to afford this meal with his financial means. This made Hua Qixiao feel guilty after a long absence. No one can estimate the size of an engagement ring just by looking at it. He has a set of information about Jiang Yunjiao in his hand, ranging from a few small red flowers she has won in kindergarten to several awards she has won abroad, every detail. He you mistakenly thought he was interested in Jiang Yunjiao and took the initiative to help him check her physical information, including finger circumference. He thinks he you is a bit abnormal. But to my surprise, I actually used it. He felt that he was no different from those who used her in the Jiang family, deceiving her and gaining her trust in order to achieve his goals. I don't really like the dishes above, why don't we switch to a different restaurant? Jiang Yunjiao closed the menu and looked seriously at Hua Qixiao. He was about to speak when he saw a man walking by. Jiang Yunjiao followed his gaze and collided with the man's hurried gaze. Yunjiao, why don't you answer my phone? Si Mingzi walked over with a cold face and a very dissatisfied tone. Jiang Yunjiao clenched her fingers tightly around the menu before reluctantly making a sound, I thought Mr. C understood that we no longer need to keep in touch at all times. C Mingzi was clearly stunned for a moment. He and Jiang Yunjiao have been engaged since childhood, but she values her studies very much and is too busy to date and cultivate feelings with him. Fortunately, she has a gentle personality and always speaks to him gently and gently, as if she has no temper. This is the first time he has heard her speak to him in such a cold tone. Let's have a conversation, said Siming with a furrowed brow, we don't have much to talk about, Jiang Yunjiao turned her face and whispered to Hua Qixiao, let's go. She stood up and was about to leave when Si Mingzi saw the situation and reached out to pull her, but was stopped halfway. People like Mr. C, who don't care about face, should stay away from my wife to avoid damaging her reputation. Hua Qixiao's tone was cold and indifferent, but couldn't hide his contempt. Sai Ming's only then noticed the existence of Hua Qixiao. When he went to the Jiang group to deliver engagement rings, he met Hua Qixiao, but he didn't even consider people who were not in the same class as him. 
At this moment, it was the same. He didn't even give Hua Qixiao an extra look, he just asked Jiang Yunjiao, what does he mean? Jiang Yunjiao reached out to hold Hua Qixiao and snuggled up beside him, I'm already married. Please pay attention to your manners, sir. Marriage. Si Mingzi pointed at Hua Qixiao incredulously, with him. Jiang Yunjiao didn't want to engage in meaningless entanglement with Si Mingzi anymore, so she pulled Hua Qixiao and left. After taking two steps, she turned back and, in the slightly proud gaze of Si Mingzi, picked up the roses on the table. The rose looked so good, Hua Qixiao must have spent a lot of money. It's too wasteful not to bring it home. Si Ming's expression stiffened as he clenched his fists and watched as the two of them intimately walked away. Hua Qixiao asked Jiang Yunjiao to choose a new restaurant, and she chose a Chinese restaurant. After tinkering around in the revolving restaurant, it was already past the meal, but there were still many customers in the restaurant. They waited for more than ten minutes before they had a seat. After serving the dishes, Jiang Yunjiao eagerly asked Hua Qixiao, Is it delicious? Hua Qixiao nodded and said, not bad. He remembered something and asked again, have you come to eat before? Jiang Yunjiao shook her head and said, no, didn't Song Wanshu recommend this restaurant on the show? She said it's delicious and the taste is definitely not bad. Song Wanshu has been very popular recently, but Jiang Yunjiao doesn't seem like someone who pays attention to entertainment stars. In the information that Hua Qixiao has, Jiang Yunjiao and Song Wanshu do not intersect. Do you know Song Wanshu? Understanding. Hua Qixiao was a bit surprised, but he didn't ask much with a sense of propriety. After dinner, Hua Qixiao is ready to send Jiang Yunjiao home. As she left the restaurant, Jiang Yunjiao suddenly stopped and hesitated with a hint, I can go back by myself. You should move over tomorrow and go back to pack your luggage tonight, right? The essence of probing is unease. It's not very safe for two legally related lonely men and widows to be together. Especially at night. Okay. Sure enough, the woman across from him breathed a sigh of relief after listening to his answer. Watching Jiang Yunjiao get into the car, Hua Qixiao turned around and went to the parking lot. In the car, Jiang Yunjiao did not provide her home address to the driver, but instead provided the address of last night's hotel. She found the hotel manager. I want to see the surveillance footage from last night. The farce of booking a wedding banquet has long been circulating in the community, but as the head of a high.end hotel, I have strong professional ethics. When facing Jiang Yunjiao, I still politely and respectfully said, Sorry Miss Jiang, our surveillance route malfunctioned last night and we were unable to save the surveillance footage. Jiang Yunjiao remained silent for a moment before saying, Thank you. Siming Ze and Jiang Ruoyan conspired to plot against her, and naturally prepared thoroughly. She expected such a result, but still wanted to confirm it. Shang Bai Hui As soon as Hua Qixiao entered the door, He Yushan's phone call came over. He answered the phone, and He Yu's teasing tone rang in her phone, Do you know that when you left first, someone said that Miss Jiang from the Jiang family had found a poor guy to marry. Hua Qixiao placed the car key on the foyer cabinet and said, Hmm, is there anything else? They're calling you a poor ghost, He Yu said with a deep emphasis, My wife doesn't mind if I'm poor, Hua Qixiao recalled Jiang Yunjiao frowning as she flipped through the menu in the revolving restaurant, silently curling her lips. He Yushin, dot. At this moment, another phone call came in, and Hua Qixiao hung up on He Yushin's phone and answered the other call. The person on the other end of the phone reported to him the whereabouts of Jiang Yunjiao. Boss, my wife went to the hotel. Got it. Chapter 7 He has a name, his name is Hua Qixiao. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. On the way back from the hotel, Jiang Yunjiao kept receiving calls from her phone. All of them were from the Jiang family calling. It is believed that the news of her marriage to Hua Qixiao has already reached the Jiang family at the revolving restaurant. She answered Jiang Ningkang's phone call. Jiang Ningkang questioned her, 
did you really marry that trash? He has a name, his name is Hua Qixiao. Jiang Yinjiao had already arrived at the downstairs of the apartment and continued to call the elevator, Jiang Mingkong's suppressed anger erupted completely, how dare you really marry such a useless person behind my back? You are completely ignoring me now. Do you know what those people outside say about our Jiang family now? If it weren't for your grandfather in my eyes, I wouldn't have answered the phone, Jiang Yunjiao felt a bit dazed, and her grandfather's tone made her feel like a wicked and rebellious person. Jiang Yunjiao's voice was soft, and her low tone sounded more like she was trying to soften. Jiang Ningkong snorted coldly, I've already given you a chance, but you don't know how to cherish it yourself. Now that you've made multiple mistakes, I can only send you abroad to take shelter. Either you want to marry her off, or you want to drive her abroad and manipulate her like an object. Jiang Yunjiao sneered and tugged at the corner of her lips, what if I don't want to? Jiang Ningkong's tone suddenly cooled down, Yun Jiao, you can't afford the consequences of being stubborn. His warning in a clear tone suddenly made Jiang Yunjiao shiver. Jiang Group is now the industry leader, and as the leader of the group, Jiang Ningkong naturally has excellent methods, which is why Jiang Yunjiao highly respects him. If he uses those methods in the mall to deal with her, she naturally has no defense. But if she takes a step back, she will have to be at his mercy throughout her life. She cannot withdraw. There is no way out either. I make my own choices, I take responsibility for them. Her calm and firm tone stunned Jiang Ningkong, and then she sneered and hung up the phone. Jiang Yunjiao put down her phone and fell into the sofa as if feeling powerless. The phone rang again. The screen displays the words, Assistant Hua. That's the note she gave to Hua Qixiao before. She didn't answer the phone. After the phone hung up naturally, she edited a text message to reply to him. I was taking a shower just now, and now I'm ready to go to bed. She doesn't want to deceive people, but Hua Qixiao is careful and sharp, and he can definitely hear something from her tone. After a moment, Hua Qixiao replied with two words. Good night. Jiang Yunjiao had a long lost dream of her parents. She woke up before dawn and couldn't sleep anymore. So she got up and went to the cemetery. When he returned, Hua Qixiao had already been waiting downstairs in the apartment for a while. The faint morning light enveloped the thin and thin woman, casting a hazy shadow. Her skirt swayed in the wind, and she was as beautiful as a dream. Hua Qixiao was lost in thought and called her name, Jiang Yunjiao. Upon hearing the familiar voice, the woman who had originally lowered her head and focused on walking suddenly lifted her head. After seeing Hua Qixiao, she ran towards him and said, When did you arrive? Just arrived. Hua Qixiao's gaze swept over her slightly damp skirt, which was still stained with petal fragments. He vaguely guessed where she had gone. As Jiang Yunjiao was thinking about how to explain where he had gone, he turned around and opened the car door, took out his handbag from inside and handed it to her. Breakfast, he said, thank you. Jiang Yunjiao took it over and asked in time, have you eaten it? Hua Qixiao raised his eyes and said, no. Jiang Yunjiao was taken aback for a moment. Originally, she just asked by the way, but she didn't expect that he hadn't eaten yet. Then we can eat together later. Hua Qixiao let out a hmm and said, I'll go pick up my luggage. Do you need any help? Jiang Yunjiao followed him to the back of the car and peered into the trunk from behind. Hua Qixiao turned around and saw her probing and gentle appearance, as gentle and obedient as a cat waiting to be masturbated. No need, he said, curling his hand slightly to his side, oh. There was only a suitcase and a travel bag in the trunk, and she really didn't need her help. Jiang Yunjiao stood up straight and stepped aside to avoid obstructing him. Jiang Yunjiao lives in a single apartment. When living alone, Hua Qixiao suddenly felt cramped and cramped as he walked in with his luggage. Hua Qixiao put Li Xing aside and turned to look at her. Let's have breakfast first, he said compared to Jiang Yunjiao, who stood by the door feeling somewhat lost, 
his calm and composed demeanor seemed more like the owner of this family. The two sat opposite the dining table. Jiang Yinjiao secretly looked up at the man across from her while having breakfast. His calm and indifferent expression looked no different from usual, completely free from the nervousness of moving into an unfamiliar environment. After all, since the two of them will always live together in the future, should she also be more natural and generous? The gaze on the other side was too obvious, and it was difficult for Hua Qixiao to ignore it. He put down his chopsticks and slowly looked up, and Jiang Yinjiao was suddenly caught by his gaze. She blinked her eyes twice to ease her nervousness and said, I've already cleared half of the closet space. You can put your clothes in later. Thank you. The man's polite thanks couldn't conceal his inherent indifference. Jiang Yinjiao remembered his indifference towards her yesterday morning, as well as his undisguised ridicule towards her. After obtaining the certificate, it was not difficult to see that he really wanted to get along well with her, but she still felt that she couldn't see through him. Hua Qixiao simply sorted out his luggage and left, while Jiang Yinjiao stayed at home to prepare the materials needed for tomorrow's inauguration ceremony. She was busy all afternoon, and it was dinner time. She habitually went to order takeout. In the spare time, she caught a glimpse of the extra cups on the coffee table and suddenly remembered that Hua Qixiao had already moved over. Should I call Hua Qixiao and ask if he wants to come back for dinner? Suddenly, there was movement coming from the door. She turned her head and saw that Hua Qixiao had returned. Dinner. Is eating noodles okay? The two of them spoke almost simultaneously. He changed his shoes and walked inside, only then did she notice that he was holding vegetables in his hand. Jiang Yunjiao whispered in embarrassment, I don't know how to cook. Hua Qixiao was stunned for a moment, and the corner of his mouth curved slightly. It's okay, I can do it, he said he certainly knows that she can't cook. Watching the man's figure disappear at the kitchen door, Jiang Yunjiao finally regained her senses and got up to follow in. Hua Qixiao was tidying up her ingredients when she heard the commotion behind her. Thinking she was hungry, she didn't look up and said, it will take half an hour. She stood by the door, tentatively speaking, can I help you? The next second, the man with his back to her turned around and handed her the vegetables. Jiang Yunjiao quickly walked over and was about to reach out to pick it up when Hua Qixiao suddenly withdrew his hand and asked her seriously, do you know how to choose dishes? Dot. Chapter 8 As your husband, I have this obligation. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. If it weren't for Hua Qixiao's overly serious expression, Jiang Yunjiao would have doubted whether he was mocking her. She didn't retract her hand suspended in mid-air as if she were fighting, looked at him with determination, and replied with a heavy bite, of course I would do such a simple thing. Hua Qixiao raised his eyebrows, handed her the vegetables, and then turned to continue with what he had just done. That expression, even though she didn't say anything, made Jiang Yinjiao feel his distrust very clearly. I look down on people too much. Jiang Yinjiao was a bit angry, staring at his straight back and silently glaring at him in anger, but she didn't expect him to suddenly turn back. Four eyes facing each other. Jiang Yinjiao was the first to defeat the battle and silently moved towards the nearby sink with her head down. When she was quietly staring at someone, she was caught straight in the face, and no one was more embarrassed than her. The back collar suddenly tightened, and the next second, she was caught off guard by the man pulling her over. She was shocked in her heart. Does this man want to retaliate against her for this small matter? You. Just as she was about to speak, she stumbled into him with an unsteady figure, her waist held by a powerful arm, and the undeniable heat ironed her skin through the thin summer fabric. She blushed and looked up at him speechless. Hua Qixiao lowered his eyes and saw his reflection clearly in her moist and beautiful eyes. Inexplicable heat surged in his heart, and his hand around her waist involuntarily tightened. The instinctive perception of danger by organisms made Jiang Yinjiao start to feel scared. She wanted to push away the man in front of her. But his gaze, as deep as a cold pond, seemed to have substance, 
tightly imprisoned her, leaving her nowhere to escape. Choose the good dishes and put them inside. Hua Qixiao's voice was slightly hoarse, and he let go of his hand and took a small step back, handing her a drainage basket. Then, as if nothing had happened, I continued to do what I had just done. Jiang Yunjiao stood still for a moment with lingering fear before walking to the side to choose dishes. Hua Qixiao made green vegetables and meat sauce noodles, paired with meat and vegetables, with a tempting soup color. After putting his noodles on the table, he turned around to fetch water. When he returned, he saw Jiang Yunjiao holding chopsticks and eagerly looking at him, with an expression of wanting to eat but feeling embarrassed to move them. You can eat it first. Jiang Yunjiao smiled and waited for him to sit down before moving his chopsticks. After taking a bite of the noodles and swallowing them, she looked at the man across from her with bright eyes. Hua Qixiao mixed the noodles in the bowl and looked up, asking, Is the taste good? Jiang Yunjiao nodded heavily and said, It's delicious. When she was in school, she always heard classmates say that the taste of food and takeout at home was different. She didn't quite understand at that time, but now she seems to understand a bit. Jiang Yunjiao not only finished the noodles, but also drank the soup clean. Hua Qixiao pondered for a moment and said, Do you want to cook more? No need. Jiang Yunjiao felt a bit embarrassed and put away their bowls before diving into the kitchen. I'll go wash the dishes. Hua Qixiao has already cooked, so it's not easy for him to wash dishes again. When she came out of the kitchen, she saw Hua Qixiao sitting at the dining table with a computer in front of him. The screen displayed something similar to a table, but she didn't look closely and only said from a distance, I'll go take a shower first. Hmm. His gaze still fell on the computer screen. Jiang Yunjiao entered the bedroom and, while picking up her pajamas from the wardrobe, saw neatly hung men's clothing next to her, feeling inexplicably flustered. Although she has decided to live a good life with Hua Qixiao, she is still a bit nervous and uneasy. But they're going to sleep together tonight Jiang Yunjiao became more and more nervous as she thought about it. After taking a shower, she lingered in the bathroom for a while before coming out. Subconsciously, she looked over to the restaurant and found that the table was empty. The small apartment integrating the dining room and dining room was visible at a glance, and when my gaze turned to the living room, I saw Hua Qixiao sitting on the sofa. The man with long hands and long feet sat lazily in her carefully selected cream-colored sofa, with an indescribable conflict in the picture, while he himself was unaware and only carefully studied the photo in his hand. The person in the photo is wearing a doctoral uniform, holding a large bouquet of bright yellow roses in his hand. He smiles brilliantly at the camera, with red lips, teeth, white eyebrows, and curved eyes, so bright that even the bouquet of roses is overshadowed. The person in the photo had already walked up to him. Hua Qixiao raised his hand and returned the photo embedded in the frame to the owner. The photo was taken well, he said this is her graduation photo, which is usually placed on the side table next to the sofa. Jiang Yunjiao took the photo and put it back in its original position. I've washed it, you. Hua Qixiao said coldly, the people who take photos are very professional. Jiang Yunjiao was taken aback for a moment, then laughed as if recalling something happy. Hmm, he studied photography, she said Hua Qixiao looked at her for two seconds and stood up, I'll go take a shower. I don't know if it was Jiang Yunjiao's illusion, but she felt that Hua Qixiao's tone was a bit worse than before. Soon, the sound of water in the bathroom rang out. Jiang Yunjiao didn't have the heart to think about unnecessary things anymore, sitting and restlessly thinking about how to deal with him later. Until the sound of water in the bathroom stopped, she didn't come up with a solution. She hurriedly picked up her phone and pretended to be busy, listening to the commotion in the bathroom with her ears perked up. After hearing the sound of the door opening, she pretended to be calm and looked up at Hua Qixiao, You go to bed first, I have something else to do. Hua Qixiao remained silent and walked straight towards her. Feeling the position beside her sinking, Jiang Yunjiao felt a bit overwhelmed and said, What's going on? The woman's face was no different from usual, 
but her trembling eyelashes still betrayed her. So nervous. Hua Qixiao lowered his gaze to suppress his smile, and when he looked up again, his gaze became deep. How can I sleep if you sit here? He rested one hand on the sofa behind her, leaning forward slightly, exuding a strong sense of siege and plundering. Jiang Yunjiao became even more nervous, and her body involuntarily hit to the side, trying to discuss with him, I think we may need to cultivate our relationship first, and then. Aren't we cultivating our relationship right now? The more she dodged, the closer he approached her like a prank. Until Jiang Yunjiao approached the corner with no way out, he deliberately lowered his voice and said, Jiang Yunjiao, I need your help with something. Jiang Yunjiao blushed inexplicably and said, What? What's going on? Hua Qixiao spoke calmly, Help me get the bed and blanket. Ah! Jiang Yunjiao was stunned on the spot, realizing it later. Do you want to sleep on the sofa? Of course. Hua Qixiao slowly sat up straight and looked at her with an ambiguous expression. You can invite me to the master bedroom to sleep, and as your husband, I have this obligation. Jiang Yunjiao's fair little face suddenly turned red, I'll go get you a blanket. As soon as she thought that she had been thinking all night, Hua Qixiao didn't have the intention at all, and she wanted to find a crack in the ground to crawl in. After giving the blanket to Hua Qixiao, she almost ran away in despair. Hua Qixiao looked at her back, with a slow tone tinged with a smile. Good night, Jiang Yunjiao, he said his response was the sound of the bedroom door slamming shut with a loud force. Chapter 9 Don't be afraid. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. The next day is Monday. Jiang Yunjiao woke up early, but Hua Qixiao woke up earlier than her. When the two met at the bathroom door, he was the first to say, Good morning. Jiang Yunjiao vaguely smelled the smell of aftershave on her body, took half a step aside, distanced herself from him, lowered the corner of her mouth, and spoke coldly, Good morning. She finally realized last night that Hua Qixiao deliberately said those misleading words in the living room to make fun of her. The man appeared steady and rigorous on the surface, but he didn't expect to be so bored and childish behind his back. Jiang Yinjiao didn't want to talk to Hua Qixiao and walked into the bathroom sideways. Hua Qixiao noticed her coldness and went to the kitchen thoughtfully. Jiang Yinjiao smelled the fragrance right after washing up. Turning to look at her, Hua Qixiao sat at the dining table with a smile and said, Come and have breakfast. Jiang Yunjiao doesn't want to go. But she had eaten the noodles cooked by Hua Qixiao last night and knew how good his cooking was, so she walked over uncontrollably. Hua Qixiao made a bacon and cheese sandwich. The cheese was rich and the bacon was fried until fragrant. Jiang Yunjiao finished two in one breath and looked up with satisfaction matching Hua Qixiao's seemingly smiling expression. She felt embarrassed to ignore him and whispered, Thank you. Finally, you're willing to take care of me, Hua Qixiao couldn't hear any emotions in his tone so he knew she didn't want to talk to him. She inexplicably felt like she was being held in his grasp. Hua Qixiao asked again, What are your plans for today? Today is Monday, originally Jiang Yunjiao's inauguration day at the Jiang Group, but the farce of booking the wedding banquet and Jiang Mingkang's attitude indicate that her inauguration ceremony will not go smoothly. Speaking of the matter, Jiang Yunjiao's face straightened and she said, Jiang has the hard work of my parents, and no matter what, I will not withdraw from the company. The meaning is that she is prepared to be unable to take up the job, but she will not give up on it. I have something for you. Hua Qixiao took out his phone and his slender fingers slid a few times on the screen, causing Jiang Yunjiao's phone to sound a vibration reminder. She took out her phone to check the message and found it to be a surveillance video. Although she knew that Si Mingzi and Jiang Ruoyan were conspiring and guessed that their relationship was not clean, she did not expect them to do such a thing on the eve of their engagement. She couldn't help but curse angrily, shameless. I agreed to get engaged to Siming because she always thought he was pretty good and didn't expect him to be so disgusting behind his back. To some extent, can she also be considered a blessing in disguise? 
she couldn't help but lift her eyes and look at the man across from her, thinking of something, and then ask, how did you get this surveillance video? Looking at the background of the surveillance footage, it was the hotel where she had booked her wedding banquet, and using ordinary methods would not easily obtain the surveillance video. Hua Qixiao took out a prepared statement and said, I have friends working in hotels. Jiang Yinjiao believed without any doubt, you have quite a few friends. Maybe there are two more than you. No one knows better than him how narrow Jiang Yinjiao's social circle is. Is he laughing at her lack of friends? Jiang Group, Meeting Room Jiang Ningkong sat at the top and looked around without seeing Jiang Yinjiao's figure, showing a satisfied smile. His granddaughter is indeed talented and has outstanding professional abilities. But so what? She was just a young girl who had not yet delved into the world, unable to make waves and quickly retreated. Since everyone has arrived. Who said everyone is here? A cold female voice came from the door, and everyone turned their heads to see Hua Qixiao from Jiang Yunjiao strode in. Jiang Ningkong's face changed slightly, what are you doing here? Let's have a meeting. Jiang Yunjiao chuckled lightly and sat down opposite Jiang Ruoyan. Sister has come, wouldn't it be very unreasonable if I didn't come? Jiang Ruoyan tugged at the corner of his lips, barely showing a smile, and said softly, Yun Jiao, your inauguration ceremony has been cancelled, don't you know? Jiang Yunjiao smiled and said, I don't know. Jiang Ruoyan was blocked by her and had nothing to say. He turned to look at Jiang Ningkong and said, Grandpa. Jiang Ningkong wore a solemn face and spoke in a heavy tone, Yun Jiao. This is not where you are fooling around. Director Jiang, let's stick to the facts. Firstly, I haven't received any written notice of the cancellation of the inauguration ceremony. Secondly, the company has been relying on the patents left by my parents to sustain its operations. Secondly, I am also one of the shareholders of the company, and I am fully qualified to appear at the company's meetings. Jiang Yunjiao's words made the other senior executives who had been watching in the conference room start whispering. This is also the reason why she deliberately waited for everyone before entering the conference room. If Jiang Ningkong were to drive her out of the Jiang group, it would be like killing a rabbit and cooking a bird to hide everything. She still has the blood of the Jiang family on her body, and other members of the board of directors would naturally be worried. When the time comes, people will feel anxious, which is not conducive to the development of the group. Moreover, Jiang Ningkong has a good face and definitely doesn't want to end up with a reputation of being ruthless, ruthless, and cruel. Jiang Ningkong naturally saw this calculation without much skill at all, but he couldn't do anything to Jiang Yunjiao even if he saw it. With so many pairs of eyes staring at him on sight, he could only let her succeed. I originally planned to personally inform you of the job change after the meeting, but I didn't expect you to rush into the conference room in such a hurry. Jiang Ningkong smiled helplessly, children are just anxious. Then I'll wait here for grandpa to finish the meeting. Jiang Yunjiao breathed a sigh of relief and reached out to get the mineral water on the table, but her hands were wet with sweat and couldn't open it. A large hand handed over the mineral water that had been twisted open from the side. Jiang Yunjiao was taken aback, took a big sip of water, and after finishing it, it was taken over by Hu Qixiao. He tightened the bottle cap, took out a handkerchief from his shirt pocket, leaned over to grab her hand and help her wipe the sweat from her palms. His voice was so low that only the two of them could hear him, don't be afraid. The meeting came to an end soon. As soon as the other senior executives left, only the Jiang family remained in the conference room. Jiang Ningkong looked at Jiang Yunjiao with a gloomy expression and said, You're so bold, even I dare to plan. So, what position is Grandpa planning to give me? I wonder if Hu Qixiao's words just now had an effect. When she faced Jiang Ningkong at this moment, she was actually not so afraid. If you want to stay, you can. Jiang Ningkong's eyes were sharp as he looked at Hua Qixiao beside her. He must go. Just as Jiang Yunjiao was about to speak, she noticed that her wrist was suddenly gripped. 
She turned her head and saw Hua Qixiao speaking seriously, I signed a formal contract. If you want to dismiss me, Jiang Dong remembers to ask the finance department to compensate me. Everyone in the Jiang family looked at Hua Qixiao with an incredible expression. Poor and crazy. At such a time, I even want compensation. Chapter 10 I do not strike women. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Jiang Ningkong was panting heavily with anger, biting his teeth and cursing Jiang Yunjiao angrily, look at what you married yourself. It's okay if Jiang Dong doesn't want to give it, it's just that going to arbitration would be more troublesome. Hua Qixiao wasn't angry either, and his tone was calm as if it wasn't him who was being scolded. Jiang Xingyi, who had been silent all along, suddenly walked up and said, Dad, why don't you give Yun Jiao to Ruoyan? Ruoyan is my sister, and she will definitely take good care of Yun Jiao. Although the old man has always disliked Jiang Yun Jiao, he can see that he appreciates her. However, her actions today have completely offended the old man. It will be difficult for him to see her again in the future. It is time for his daughter to stand out. Jiang Ruoyan received Jiang Xingyi's gaze and smiled knowingly, well, dad is right. Anyway, Yun Jiao is my younger sister. She's just a bit stubborn. As a sister, I just need to be more tolerant of her. Jiang Ningkong was so angry that he didn't want to talk to Jiang Yunjiao and Hua Qixiao, so he shook his hand and left. Jiang Ruoyan changed his gentle face from before and walked towards Jiang Yunjiao with a mocking expression on his face. You have disobeyed my grandfather without even realizing it, and you dare to come and seek death. Just as she was about to walk up to Jiang Yunjiao, the man next to her stood still and blocked her. She stopped and looked at Hua Qixiao with contempt in her eyes. Hua Qixiao, you probably don't think you can soar to fame with Jiang Yunjiao. In fact, she's not even a dog in the Jiang family. Hua Qixiao narrowed his eyes slightly, with a bone-chilling tone in his emotionless voice, my wife is naturally from my family. You Jiang family, who live a life of neither human nor ghost, should not come and touch her. Who are you cursing at? This man, besides having a pretty face, has nothing to do with anything, and even dares to look down on her. Jiang Ruoyan was so angry that he raised his hand and was about to slap him, but before he could even swing his arm, Hua Qixiao swung it away, causing Jiang Ruoyan to stumble and stabilize his figure. You. The unspoken words were forcefully intimidated back by Hua Qixiao's emotionless face. I don't hit women, so please don't always make things difficult for my wife. He spoke politely with a calm expression, but Jiang Ruoyan felt that if she dared to scold Jiang Yunjiao one more word, his gaze would tear her apart. The atmosphere in the conference room was momentarily suppressed and frightening. Hua Qixiao usually looks cold and reserved, but at this moment, it's different. Jiang Yunjiao, who is closest to him, can clearly feel his displeasure, like a precursor to the awakening of a fierce beast, with an imposing aura that is about to explode. Jiang Yunjiao tentatively tugged at his sleeve, and as he turned to look at her, his gaze softened and his aura diminished. Only then did she dare to speak to him as usual, you go and handle the resignation procedures first. He didn't speak or move, his expression looked like a little uneasy. I can do it myself. She tugged at his sleeve again, with a gentle tone that she didn't even notice. Hua Qixiao lowered his eyes and glanced at the thin white fingers pinching his sleeve, hmm. Jiang Yunjiao followed Jiang Ruoyan to the planning department. Jiang Ruoyan was scared by Hua Qixiao before and didn't speak much along the way. Now that she has reached her own territory, she has barely regained her senses. Everyone, stop their work first. Jiang Ruoyan has been in the company for two years and is now the vice president of the planning department. His words naturally carry weight, and everyone has stopped their work. She enjoyed the feeling of being aloof very much, concealing her pride in pulling Jiang Yunjiao forward. This is my sister Yunjiao, who officially joined our planning department today. Everyone should take care of her for the sake of my face, she said it looks like a good sister who takes care of her younger sister, 
but in reality, she is telling everyone that Jiang Yunjiao is a paratrooper. No one likes paratroopers at work. Jiang Yunjiao knows that Jiang Ruoyan is doing this to increase everyone's resistance to her, but the most important thing now is to stay with the Jiang family, not to worry about these things. Hello everyone, I am Jiang Yunjiao. Hello Miss Jiang. Everyone's faces were perfunctory smiles. At this moment, Jiang Ruoyan smiled and stepped forward, there is one more thing to announce. Yun Jiao told me before that she will go to discuss the new product endorsement with Song Wanshu. Remember to cooperate with her more. When did she say she was going to discuss endorsement with Song Wanshu? Jiang Yun Jiao frowned and looked at Jiang Ruoyan. However, Jiang Ruoyan seemed to have not noticed her expression and pretended to be intimate, holding on to her. You are so confident that you took the initiative to propose, sister believes you can definitely persuade Song Wanshu. The crowd's expression on Jiang Yunjiao suddenly became strange. Let's go to the office first, and I'll talk to you about some things. Jiang Ruoyan pretended to go and pull Jiang Yunjiao again. Jiang Yunjiao avoided her on the side, her face slightly cold, and soon she smiled again. You guys keep busy. Before leaving, Jiang Yunjiao vaguely heard voices of discussion coming from behind. Is it just her? Can you also invite Song Wanshu? Isn't that right? We've been looking for Song Wanshu for two months and haven't even met. She thinks she's who she is. Who said it's not? At least the deputy director is a professional match. She's just a bookworm joining in the fun, and she's so arrogant and arrogant. The tone was full of disgust and satire towards Jiang Yunjiao. This is Jiang Ruoyan's goal. Entering the office, Jiang Ruoyan immediately changed his face and sneered, Jiang Yunjiao, your first job in the planning department was messed up. Just wait and get out of the company. Jiang Yunjiao sneered, why do you think I will definitely mess up? You and Song Wanshu didn't deal with each other when they were in high school. Later, Song Wanshu even changed schools because of you, and she hated you for not being able to make it in time. How could she agree to endorse Song Wanshu? It was precisely because she knew that these two had an affair that she deliberately announced in public that Jiang Yunjiao would talk about Song Wanshu's endorsement. If the endorsement cannot be negotiated, Jiang Yunjiao will lose face in the company. Jiang Yunjiao was a bit surprised that Jiang Ruoyan would know about this matter, after all, they had a bad relationship since childhood. Jiang Ruoyan, if you focus your calculations on me, the Miss Jiang family's reputation may have been yours long ago. Jiang Ruoyan was stabbed to the pain and said in a sharp, uncontrollable voice, you don't need to teach me a lesson. Anyway, there's only one between us who can stay in the Jiang family. The knocking on the door rang out in time. Jiang Ruoyan was in a fit of anger and spoke with the intention of cursing, there is. The door was pushed open, and it was clear that Hua Qixiao was standing at the door. Jiang Ruoyan looked like a deflated balloon and moved back with a pale face. Hua Qixiao didn't even give her a glance. He focused his gaze on Jiang Yunjiao and confirmed that she was okay before speaking, I have completed the procedures, can I leave now?